Good morning, everyone. All right, so let's just quickly go over Bitcoin's price, um, how we progress down here, and what my thoughts are on levels below. So obviously, um, when we were up here, I was saying I'm expecting these range lows to be taken. Um, you know, it wasn't as likely that we held this support for the fourth time. So we, we broke down and we consolidated here a bit. And what I ended up doing, I won't go into all the details, but I ended up taking a long off this 786, a swing failure. We got a nice move. I think we got about 5% from my entry or about 4.3% from the swing failure. And then as we consolidated under this horizontal resistance, um, there were some local bearish divergences. So I took a hedge short and I was looking for this level to hold up. Um, you know, without going into too much detail, it did not. <laughs> so, um, so I, but I said, I'm, I'm leaving my head short running. I took an ad in position here. But what I want to point out is two things. So first, you had on a low time frame, you had a 786 here. It was actually right here. And you can see this level breaks down and it back tests as resistance. And again, this level breaks down, back tests as resistance. So that's a sign of weakness. When a level breaks down and the price rallies back into it and it becomes resistance, you're like, excuse me, you're likely to see lower. Um, so then I said I was waiting for um, put, keeping my short running. Now it's not a hedge because it's the lungs that it was hedging are stopped out. Now it's just an active short. Um, that's the nice thing about hedging. Um, but I was looking for a swing failure of these lows. So that means the lows are taken and then we rally through them and you just put your stop under the wick. So we, we ended up getting a nice move off that, um, you know, about 4% off the swing failure ultimately broke down. But the, the thing that's nice is to look for trades or levels where you can get some kind of movement to get into a, a take profit or a hedge, um, to get some sort of significant movement uh, that makes the trade worthwhile. So you don't always get that, but these offered those opportunities and they, but we ultimately broke down. But what I want to point out is, you know, if you're looking for these kind of positions where you can get into a position, hopefully get a take profit one and you have a high time frame level that you're either, you're going to trade hopefully only really once, right? Like you you trade this and there's not really any nearby trades if this level breaks down this gets pretty bearish pretty quickly, right? Um, if you you test that swing failure, test the liquidity under there, you have the reaction, a 4% move, but then we ultimately break down. Um, to me, that's a worthwhile trade to take because one, you're likely to get some kind of reaction, um, at least to get into a take profit or a hedge. And um, yeah, but then we ultimately broke down. So just a couple levels to the downside. I'm gonna do some charting today. I have a lot of um, high time frame ideas. So we are kind of near point of control of this little daily order block here. Um, I don't think it's a big level. So I'd like to see a lot of strength. I'd like to see some consolidation. Um, you know, something like this, get a, re a retrace. But I think the biggest levels are down here at around 20K, the top of this old range and the 786. And this probably is a wider region. So looking for some consolidation in there um, and some strength for a possible long. We have a lot of lower levels too. I'll have to go over to um, some of the, like the Coinbase chart. Um, you know, we have our horizontals a long time ago. I think this is when we we're at 50K. I just pointed out on the log scale that, you know, it wouldn't be so wild to come back down and retest the highs of this range um, that comes in around 20k as well. So there's an important level. Um, this is that order block, right? Um, the highs of that range in our old all-time high. So expecting to get a bounce from there, probably not unlikely. It's probably one of the more important horizontals to watch or the most important. So hope you guys are having a good day. That's my update. I'm going to do some charting today and probably uh, some members videos for levels to the downside. All right. Talk to you guys later.